buddy. Ah, I'm dropping you. Oopsie. Hi, everyone. You guys might remember me from blah, last week and the week before and whatnot. I'm trying to find where are my comments at? There we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the Hump Day segment with moi, Nikki Nicole. Uh, I was up to like five something in the morning this morning doing um, fishing and steak. <laughs> we went fishing late last night and then we were hungry because we catch and release and um, wanted to get some steak, some red meat. <laughs> All right, now we got some people logging in. Hi, everybody. My name is Nikki Nicole, and this is the hump day segment because of these humps. And yes, this is see-through. I do have pasties on, so you cannot get me in trouble like you did last week. Now, I wasn't the one that had boobs out last week. Actually, I was at this dope-ass pool party. Um, it was a topless pool party with Inked Magazine out in Miami, and there was girls just walking around with their tits out like, hey, without pasties on though, but these are actually really dope pasties, so I just had to wear them, especially because, you know, this is a really cute outfit and it's see-through and I don't want to get banned. <laughs> um, so while I was out in Miami, after I went live with you guys for Inked Magazine, I was at that pool party. The video got deleted because of how many girls were walking around topless, so lucky for some of you guys, you got to see it, <laughs> and unlucky for some of you who don't get to see it because it's not there anymore. All right, what questions do we have? We have the same kind of ink. Thank you, that's cool, JJ. You have good taste <laughs> if we have the same kind of ink. Nikki, you are very beautiful. Thank you. Write me letters. <laughs> you just put your address on Facebook. That's kind of bad. Don't be putting your address out there, guys. No, but um, while I was in Miami, I was robbed. <laughs> had my phone stolen. It was horrible. Um, but at least it was nothing sentimental. I went fishing yesterday, last night, and like, we didn't get done fishing till like 2 o'clock, 2.30, and then we went to Wal Walmart, bought some steak, went to the house and grilled the fuck out of it. <laughs> steak, asparagus, potatoes, and corn. It was so bomb. So bomb. I like beer. That's good for you, Ron. I'm not much of a beer drinker, honestly. Like, I don't really like alcohol in general. Um, I just don't like the taste of it. <sighs> I know who likes the taste of alcohol. Nice tattoos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello from San Antonio, Texas. Hello. Um, I am right now currently in Yuma, Arizona. I'm 24. By the way, I'm reading the comments right here answering questions. So if it sounds like I'm just blurting out random shit, well, that's probably why. <laughs> what other questions do we got here? Which is my favorite? Okay, so my favorite tattoo is the Boxer's Prayer. It connects. Um, but it starts right here. It goes all the way up. Um, and I used to do MMA and boxing competitively. And so this was a huge passion of my life. Um, the boxer's prayer, I said before fights, and I always won. So, hey, it's my good luck charm. <laughs> I also have this right here, which is, she's biting the bullet, and the bullet says underestimated inside of it. I'm going to pick my wedgie really quick. You want to watch me pick my wedgie? There you go. I know there's a fetish out there for that kind of thing, so I might as well, right? Um, I do have my entire back tattooed. And I do have a daughter. You can see her handprints. <laughs> I lock her in her room while I do these lives. <laughs> it's like my one hour away from my kid. <laughs> uh, she's a really, really good kid, though. She's six. She's amazing. Love my daughter. Can you squat over 600 pounds? Would you let him squat you? I don't know who's him. <laughs> A 
forgive me, but I forget when and where our wedding is again. That was actually kind of cute. Good try. A for effort. <laughs> I'll be back in 20 seconds. Hold on, you guys, okay? Like, literally, 20 seconds. I just gotta start this ad. I'm back! <laughs> I just had to leave for 20 seconds and start an ad really quick. Um, all right, so we go through the same questions every week, so I'm gonna run through them really quick so y'all stop asking. <laughs> um, I have this whole leg tattoo, which is all butterflies, and this one flies. You see how it flies? <laughs> um, it's all butterflies except for this right here, the wolf and the dream catcher. You look like a whore. Oh, thank you. Whores are hot. <laughs> no, uh, I understand that a lot of you females do get uh, really offended when other girls get on here live and they're half naked like I am right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get full naked. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but, um. It is Inked Magazine, you know, and I have a lot of tattoos that you cannot see if I'm even wearing a tank top and shorts. All this right here, you wouldn't be able to see any of that. So, I wear lingerie to show off my ink for Inked Magazine. If you don't like it, you don't gotta be here. Woo! No, you, you do have to be here even if you don't like it. <laughs> I'm forcing you to watch me! <laughs> Throw water out the window for a laugh and say they're on Facebook Live. Oh God. <laughs> Throw water out the window? I'm not in my car, buddy. <laughs> Does Instagram pay you to post? No, I do not get paid to post on Instagram. Um, I mean, I do get paid to promote certain things on Instagram, like clothing and stuff like that. I am from India. I like your cute smile. You're looking so beautiful, dear. Oh, thanks. How did you get the baby print hands? Okay, so um, I went to Baby's R Us when my daughter was born, and I got one of those little hand print thingies where you just, it's not ink, which is great, because you don't want to put ink on your kid's hands. So you just put it in there, and then you just put it on a paper, right? And it looks like ink on, when it gets on the paper. And then um, I took it to this guy named Doug out here in Yuma, Arizona. Um, I've only used him for that one tattoo. He's a really great realism tattoo artist. And I don't really have a lot of realism tattoos. I go to watercolor tattoo artist. Name, his name is Billy Greenway. He's out in Vegas at Club Tattoos. Amazing artist. He recently did my camera. Because I do photography. <laughs> and modeling, obviously. I mean, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. No, but... um. When you get the handprints, you go to the tattoo artist, and they should be able to make a copy of it. And then what they do is they trace it exactly, and then they put deodorant on it, and then they stick it on you. Or do they put deodorant on you? I think they put deodorant on your skin, and then they stick it on you. And I have mostly freehand, so I don't normally get the stuff stuck on me. And then uh, they just trace it. And, like, these handprints are when she was, like, five months old. That's how big they were. They were tiny. Super tiny. She was a preemie. Um, I had her when I was only like seven months pregnant. She's had um, stomach surgery and stuff too. Sorry. Hold on one second, you guys. I'm here. There you go. This thing is so. Sorry. Did I disappear on you guys? My bad. Oh, so if you guys want to see any of my uncensored stuff without the pasties, you have to go to ismygirl.com. And it's right there in the caption. It's also in the comments, and it's pinned at the very top of the comments for when you guys get out of this live video. I also have all the rest of my other social medias up there, like my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Facebook is like the first word in the caption. Like it's tagged. My name is my Facebook. You just click on my name. Click, 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 click. <laughs> but, what other questions do you guys have for me? Someone posted your hour video on YouTube last week. Oh, that's fine. It is what it is. OMG, this is totally going to get me in trouble. My wife is going to kill me. It's so worth it. <laughs> well, you can tell your wife that she has no, uh, nothing to worry about. 
right. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and comment them. And I'm trying to look at the questions while I'm talking to you guys. 20 seconds and I'll be right back. I'm doing an ad. 20 seconds. Just 20 seconds. I'm back. <laughs> so someone said, um, what's the best place to get a tattoo for a girl who doesn't have any and she's nervous? I would suggest getting something somewhere where you can hide it. The shoulder doesn't hurt that bad. The spine hurts. The ribs hurt. Um, the thigh does not hurt. I fell asleep on both thigh tattoos. Um, except for when it comes towards the inside of the thigh and the butt cheek. I shit you not, that was one of the most painful tattoos that I've ever had in my life, was the fucking butt cheek. <laughs> and it's weird, right? You would think that something, something as meaty as this would not hurt that much. But this right here was so painful. Extremely. People ask my Instagram. My Instagram is the real dot Nikki, N-I-K-K-I. And my, um... I mean, sorry, that was my Snapchat. My Snapchat is TheReal.Nikki. My Instagram is Official.Nikki.Nicole. You could just look up Nikki Nicole and I'll pop up on there. You can even Google my name. I'll pop up on there. You can find me. I am also have stuff linked up in the caption for you guys. Like social media. And if you guys want to see lots of like super sexy stuff of mine that I don't post on social media, you got to go to IsMyGirl.com. And that's not only in the caption, but it's also in the comments right down here, um, pinned to the very top. So you guys will see ismygirl.com. And like, it's not only me that gets naughty on there. I even go live on there. Um, I believe next week I'll be washing dishes and lingerie, cleaning the house naked, you know. Hmm. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely, to Jeff <laughs> definitely need to join ismygirl.com. Let's see. You look pretty, but un. What? You look pretty, but not real, cause you all loaded with unnatural things. I've never had any kind of surgery in my life, except for my wisdom teeth. I had my wisdom teeth removed like six months ago, but I've never had my boobs done. I've never had my butt done. I've never had liposuction or anything like that. Like I've never had anything done to me. I've never even had my lips done. I legit, the only thing that I have that's fake on me is my lashes. And those are extensions. And I got them done by this amazing girl in Phoenix named Heather. What is your first tattoo and where did you put it? My first tattoo was on my foot and I have not gone back to make it watercolor yet because it just hurts so much. Tell people to stop commenting, I can't see a thing. All you have to do to get rid of the comments is swipe. Swipe the comments away and you won't see them. You can just see me and uh, then you won't have a chance to comment. But whenever you want to comment, you can swipe back and the comments will come back for you. Snapchat the real dot Nikki and I K K I. Is it really uncensored on Snapchat? Um, I do have a premium Snapchat that is uncensored, but um, if you want to see the good stuff, you need to go to ismygirl.com. It's I-S-M-Y-G-I-R-L. Ismygirl.com. And you can see not only me, but a bunch of different tattoo models on there. Not even just tattoo models. Like You can find a lot of women on there that are drop-dead gorgeous, and it's like a uncensored. <laughs> I also have a live on there, which is super dope. How was the back of your leg? I have mine, and it was the worst. Um, honestly, okay, so I don't have both backs of my legs. I only have this back of my leg. And all right here was really easy for me until I got to right here. The inside part really hurt. And then also the butt cheek right here. Right here really hurt. <laughs> I'm trying to read comments. <laughs> it's so weird hearing someone have the same name as me. You have the same name as me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, Nikki. Um, 
Instagram. All you guys are asking for my social media, but it's all up there in the caption, I'm pretty sure, unless the caption was switched, which is very much possible. <laughs> um, but if you guys just Google me, Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, -I, Nicole, N-I-C-H-O-L-E, you'll be able to find any of my social media at all. Oh, my friend Jason Velasco just joined. Hey, Jason. He's a really great photographer. Based out of Cali. Where is the best stop to get... I think you meant spot. Where is the best spot to get tattooed and it won't hurt? Um, oh, hi, Mom. My mom just joined. Hey, Mom. <laughs> um, no, but the best spot to get tattooed that doesn't hurt, it really just depends on the person because I've heard people say that their butt cheek didn't hurt. My butt cheek hurt like a motherfucker. Like, I almost tapped out. Um, a lot of people say, like, the elbow hurts. My elbow didn't hurt that bad. Um, the inside of my elbow didn't hurt that bad. This one did. Like, it's so weird. This arm didn't hurt nearly as bad as this one. But this one looks sicker. <laughs> um, but a good spot, I would say, is the shoulder. Um, like right on the shoulder, not on the bone part, but on the, like the middle of the shoulder blade. You know what I mean? Where it's a tiny bit meteor. It's just, just a tiny bit meteor. All right, you guys, hold on for 20 seconds. And the second you get back on after 20 seconds, I'm going to flash you. Ready? 20 seconds and I'm going to flash you. Ready? Countdown. 20 seconds and then you're going to get flashed. Poppy. And we're back. I'm flashing you now. Woo! Boobies! And paste these bitches, you can't tag me or flag me. There you go. Ha ha. <laughs> I love this pasty company, though. These, like, pasties are really comfortable. Um, it was Pasty Paradise, I believe. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with Pasty Paradise now. We met them out in Inked Mag, or out at uh, Miami when we were recruiting, recruiting girls. Some gorgeous, gorgeous women. I got to meet some really, really pretty aspiring models out there, and I'm really happy that I got to... I got to shoot a lot of them, photography, got to shoot them, um, got to hang out, you know. Where is your newest tattoo? That's actually from here, from my elbow down. So. And I ended up keeping this open for IVs because I don't have that one open. And I hate getting IVs in my hand. So I always tell them, try as hard as you can to go through these. But now I have one open for you vein lovers out there, lobotomists. What's your most psychedelic tattoo? I don't think I really have any psychedelic tattoos. Where are you from? I'm from Arizona. Do you think your daughter's proud of you right now? I bet you're better than that. Wow. Okay, so... I understand that there's going to be a lot of trolls out here on the internet talking crap or whatever, but the thing is, I want my daughter to be comfortable with herself. Isa! Isabella! She's coming. Isa, come here, baby! She's still in her pajamas. Summer vacay. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, baby girl. I want to ask you something. Right. Sit here next to me. Hey, are you proud of your mommy? Yes. What does your mommy do for work? Uh, what do you mean you don't know? Uh -uh. You see my magazines in stores? Uh -uh. What? You and Nana <laughs> went with some of my magazines in stores. <laughs> are you proud of mommy? No. What? I'm gonna beat you up. People don't think you're proud of me. I'm proud of you. You're proud of me? Yeah? Do I give you everything you need? Yeah. Do I make sure you're well fed? Do I make sure you have lots of clothes and lots of toys? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do I show you lots and lots of love? Yeah. I show you lots and lots of love, huh? You need to feel your fever. You gonna feel my fever? I don't have a fever. You have a fever. You have a fever. <laughs> give me a kiss. I love you. Yeah. Go back to your room for a little bit, okay? I want more popcorn. You want more popcorn? Yeah. Get the bag that's right next to the fridge and then give me your bowl and then I'll pour some popcorn in there. My daughter is very proud of me, by the way. Yes, I am a tattoo mother. 
that does modeling. Like, that's not a huge, that's not, that's not a bad thing. What's up, baby girl? The what? Okay. I also have my little cousin Kelsey here who is um, her same age. Oh, Isa's same age. They're only a couple weeks apart. And um, they're best friends. They both live here. You find it, baby? They want more popcorn for their snack. So give me one second to pour some, some kettle corn. <laughs> you want some more too, Kelsey? Yeah. We're gonna have chicken nuggets for dinner, okay? I mean, for lunch. Mm, I love chicken nuggets. I know. Or we can have fish sticks. No. No? Yeah. Go put this back right there. Thank you, baby. Love you. So what other questions do you guys have, or insults that I can prove you wrong on? <laughs> and yes, also, my mother is extremely proud of me too. Oh, Kyleen just asked me, my parents don't support my modeling, but I love it. Do your parents support you? Um, I do not, I haven't spoke to my dad in years, um, since I was about 15. Actually 16, I believe, yeah, 16. I'm 24 right now, so it's been about eight years. Um, he's spent his whole life in and out of prison, so I don't really keep in contact with him much. But my mother, my mom, is so supportive, like extremely supportive of what I do. Um, she, she's even logged in here watching right now. She loves me. Um, I'm super blessed to have such a supportive family, um, even when I was a stripper. Like, they were like, well, as long as you're not selling drugs and, you know, getting in trouble... Because uh, my family, uh, I come from a long history of drug addicts and cons and all that stuff. So they're just happy that I'm not a drug addict or selling drugs or doing anything illegal. <laughs> Everyone, a lot of people are saying, can you please get up and show us your back piece? Turn around. Da -da -da. People are just judgmental as long as you love your daughter and she's getting everything that she needs. You're perfect. You're an amazing mom. It's awesome. Enjoy it. Preach. Thank you so much, Cheyenne. You're very sweet. Oh, almost dropped you guys. I'm dropping you. All right, again, I'm going to do a 20-second ad. If you guys stay on for that 20 seconds, literally, literally, like it counts down on my screen, 20 seconds. If you guys stay on for that 20 seconds, I'll flash you. Oh! Ready? 20 seconds counting down right and you can start counting right. One second. Where did that comma go? All right, ready? Woo! <laughs> so someone just said, ding, ding, ding. That's why you're doing all this because you have daddy problems. Let me tell you something. I do not have daddy problems. I disowned my father a very long time ago. I am more than okay with it. Um, I do have a father in my life, though. My grandfather is the best dad that I could possibly ever ask for. Like, my grandfather raised me, for the most part. I mean, I've been in foster cares and group homes and facilities and stuff like that. But my grandfather is the most amazing man that I've ever met in my entire life. So I do not have daddy issues. I have a dad. It's just not the person who donated his sperm to me. Or to my mom, I guess I should say make me <laughs> so I do not have daddy issues I love my my dad my granddad yeah don't let her see you steady and go to college let her see your whore yourself on webcam good life choices hey Anthony the thing is though um, I do go to school so on your face <laughs> And my daughter loves school, so. And, like, really showing off my tattoos and lingerie is whoring myself. And, mm, I wonder, how much of a whore is your girlfriend for having sex with you and everyone else before you for a dinner and a movie? You know? Hmm. I don't even have sex with people, but I'm a whore? Makes a lot of sense, Anthony. And I don't think most whores 
make about three thousand dollars a day, so. I would rather have a, or I would rather a daughter be raised with a mother who will teach her honesty and acceptance than a mother who will feed her lies her whole life. You are great. Thank you. I would love to get a small tattoo, but I'm diabetic and hesitant. Would it be okay? Um, yes, you will be more than okay. Um, make sure you know you're feeling healthy that day that you get a tattoo, though. Don't be scared to reschedule your tattoo for your health. If, if you feel like you're feeling shitty and you're like tired or I honestly don't know exactly how diabetics feel like on a constant basis, but if you feel like you're having a bad diabetic day, then I wouldn't suggest doing it. You don't want to faint or something like that from the anxiety, but um, diabetics, diabetics get tattooed all the time. Just make sure you warn your tattoo artist. Just let so he knows, you know. You're absolutely gorgeous. These people are just mad because they don't have a chance. You're sweet, thanks. <laughs> you should have lost custody of your child. You're an unfit mother. Oh, these people are ruthless. You know what's crazy to me, though? Like, all my life, I was bullied. All my life. From being overweight, tomboy, um... Threw my hair up in a ponytail every day, wore guy clothes every day to school, did all the sports. I was a loner, didn't get along with everybody because everyone would make fun of my weight because I was overweight at the time. Um, and I'm only 5'4", so that doesn't help. But uh, I've been bullied all my life. All my life. And because of the fact that I was different, you know what I mean? But now that I'm a tattoo model, I am extremely successful. And I still, to this day, get bullied. It blows my mind. Uh, it just goes to show you that no matter who you are, you're going to get bullied. These people are going to be ruthless no matter what. You just got to have thick skin. And uh, honey, I <laughs> have thick ass skin. So keep all the hate coming because literally right when you comment, all of your friends on your Facebook page see that you commented on my post. Which means they'll come over and see what I'm doing. Which means it's more traffic. So any publicity is good publicity. Thank you. <laughs> Save your boobies. <laughs> Definition of what a mother should be. Taking care of her kids. Nothing more, nothing less. She's good. Thank you. Bullied for being overweight or bullied because you're annoying as fuck? Could be a little bit of both. Thanks for pointing that out. These people have a lot to say, yet they're still watching you. So true. That's what I, I love it. I'm like, Bring it on, motherfuckers! <laughs> I said it a little loud. My kid heard me. Um, what made you decide to do watercolor throughout? It's really cool looking. You're the only person that I've ever seen with it. Um, so I decided to do mainly, or all, watercolor. All my tattoos are watercolor. I decided to do just watercolor because of the fact that... Ooh, I just burped. Excuse me. <laughs> because of the fact that my grandfather was an art teacher. And watercolor is his thing. And my grandpa raised me, so... <laughs> watercolor everything. It was the one way to get him to accept all my tattoos. Just kidding. <laughs> um, oh, 20 seconds. All right. Stay on for the next 20 seconds and I will flash you. Watch this ad really quick. Literally 20 seconds and I'll flash you. 20 seconds. Starting right. Right. Mm, right. Mm, mm, mm. Now. Show off the pasties. Pasties! <laughs> oh god, and here comes the comments about you cussing near your child. Careful of the perfect Facebook parents when they're obviously watching their kids 
<laughs> yeah, you guys are obviously doing so good at watching your kids right now on summer vacation while you're watching me. <laughs> hey, you know what? To each their own. I mean, maybe talking shit about me makes them feel better about themselves. And I'm more than happy to be the one to make you feel better. <laughs> Even if it means you trying, keyword, trying to tear me down. <laughs> I have too much self-esteem for that, honey. Snapchat but never accepted what? Why do people come on here just to complain no one's forcing you to be on here? True real. You have an amazing personality, don't ever change it. Thank you, Brian, you're sweet. Haters gonna hate. Where you get your tattoos done at though? <laughs> so my tattoo artist is dope as fuck. Um he's out in Vegas. Uh he works at Club Tattoo. And his name is Billy Greenway. So it's Billy, B-I-L-L-Y, Greenway. 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 G-R-E-E-N-W-A-Y, Billy Greenway. At Club Tattoo in um, Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. I was in the Marines, if that'll help me get a shout out. Actual fact. Um, I mean, like... I support the troops, 100%. I, I support the troops. Um, my ex-husband was a Marine. Um, ex-boyfriend was a Marine. I only dated two people in the Marines, but like, hey, I, I support the troops. I like a man in uniform. <laughs> but I'm not going to shout you out just because you're a Marine, dude. I mean, if anything, I should be giving, like, pediatric surgeons freaking shout-outs. You know what I mean? People that actually have, like, saved my kid's life. <laughs> not saying, oh my god, that, I just realized how bad that sounded. I'm not saying that the military is not special. So, I'm sure I'm going to get a shit ton of comments right now of people talking shit because they totally think I meant that the wrong way. But, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Let's see. Too bad you get paid for people watching the videos. Hmm. Hold on, what does that say? I recently got injured at work. Having major nerve issues now, do you think it will make a tattoo process worse? That is, I do not know. I don't know. Um, I don't know how that would work. I would honestly suggest asking a doctor. You can even call like a nurse hotline and they should be able to tell you. Like if it makes pain more painful, then I would think so. Because tattoos are kind of painful. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm unsure. That is a really good question though. If you find that out, Kelly, will you please tell me <laughs> next week when I get on? If you dated an army guy, you wouldn't call him your ex. <laughs> I love that. That's cute. Beautiful women in underwear can say anything they want. I mean, you have a point. One second. Uno momento. Hold on. Okay, I'll show you guys my tattoos again really quick. Quick 20 second ad and I'll continue to show my tattoos. Literally, literally 20 seconds. Sorry guys, went away for a second. So, just so that you guys don't, like, try, like, getting me flagged because of the fact that I have a see-through bra on, 
I do have pasties, so please don't report me because it's not getting taken down because of the fact that I have pasties on. Wah -bah -bah. <laughs> or I'll come over there and I'll knock you out with my tit. <laughs> No, I'll just probably flick a burger on you, a burger, a bugger on you. The needles don't hit the nerves, it should be fine. I trapped, I trapped nerves in my arms and spied, in spine and I'm covered in tattoos. Well, there you go, that should be the answer. Um, someone has nerve damage and they got covered in tattoos and they said it, it was fine. Oh, hey, so let's say we get to, if I could see up here, up here I see that I have 23.1 thousand viewers on right now, 23.2. So if I get up to 40 thousand viewers, share, 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 share this video right now. If I get up to 40 thousand viewers, I'll take off my bra. So share the heck out of this video and let's get to 40 thousand views and I'll take off my bra for the last 10 minutes of the video. Oh, incentive! <laughs> the tattoos don't make anyone look bad, but show enough your body does. The thing is, you guys, this is Inked Magazine, where I have to show off my ink, and sex sells. Don't we all know this by now? Sex sells like crazy. By the way, if you guys want to see some like really sexy shit, go to ismygirl.com. It should be pinned in the comments and also up here in the caption. Uh, there should be a link. And my super sexy stuff is on there. Super sexy. All right, I'm going to show you guys my tattoos again really quick so that we can get to that 40,000. And then we can go ahead and take off my top because this bra is annoying. <laughs> Oops. One second. Sorry, I dropped you for a second. And this one is when I started modeling. Focus on what's important, capture the good times, and develop from the negatives. And I do plan on connecting this to this. I just don't know with what yet. <laughs> I gotta figure out what I wanna put there. And I also have, ooh, we're almost to 30,000. You guys are getting close. Get up to 40,000, share, share, share. I also have, ooh, pick my wedgie. I also have my whole back. We're almost at 30,000. Once we get to 40,000 views on here, 40,000 views at the moment, we're at 29.8 thousand views are on here right now. 30,000 are on here right now. We get to $40,000, or $40,000, I mean, I wish. If we get to 40,000 views, I will show you guys the boobies. <laughs> so share, share, share. We only have 10,000 more to go. We're one third on the way there, or two thirds on the way there. There you go. I'm so obsessed with your tattoos. I'm just like you. I'm 18. It makes me who I am. I'm also a photographer. That's awesome, Jessica. That's really awesome. Photography is so much fun, and tattoos are so addicting. All right, we're gonna show you guys tattoos again. I noticed the numbers jumped up immensely once I. The numbers jumped up immensely once I um, was showing off my tattoos. So I'm going to show you guys my tattoos some more. I've been working out for about six months. Um, I am nowhere near where I want to be, but I'm starting to see like little abs. And like my stomach is actually getting flat. My stomach was not flat. It was like, that's me pushing it out. <laughs> But um, when I flex, I can see my little abs right here. I'm all happy. Eee, abs! Woohoo! Right? Oh, 
My little twerk. Boop, boop, boop. <sighs> Ooh, we're at 31.7, 32.1. Let me show more tattoos and get you guys going some more. So this is my second to last tattoo I got, which is all right here. All these butterflies. <laughs> my boobs are coming out. my wedgie. You get my back tattoos. Excuse me. I said excuse me to you. I don't know why I did that. Athena, come here. Athena, come here. This is my Doberman that I normally have live with me. Come here. She's been just laying here though because she had surgery two weeks ago. Come here. Hi, mamas. Hi, mamas. Oh, my pretty baby. My pretty, pretty baby. My Doberman's adorable. Love this precious little thing. Okay, we're at 35.7. If we can get just another 4.5, then we're good to go. <laughs> I'll play with my dog for a couple minutes while you guys do your thing. She just... No. <laughs> Athena. Alright. Oh! We've got to do another ad really quick, you guys. You stay on for the next 20 seconds. Two, zero, 20 seconds. I might just take off my bra for you. 20 seconds. Starting now. Oh, not now. Wait. Mm. All right, and we're back. Okay. No, but seriously, um, all my social media is up there in the caption. You guys can tune in next week around the same time for Hump Days with Nikki Nicole. It's a weekly segment. Um, when you guys get out of here, I'm about to get off right now. When you guys get out of here, go up to the caption, check out my Instagram at official.nikki.nicole. You can also check out my Facebook, Nikki Nicole. You can also check out my, in my um, Snapchat, TheReal.Nikki. And you can also check out my tits on ismygirl.com. <laughs> Alright. Like I promised, one boob. Oh, I really hope I don't get banned for pasties. If y'all get me banned for pasties, I'm gonna find all you guys and knock you the fuck out with a tit. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, but seriously. Alright, I'm getting off of here. Woo! Talk to you guys later. See you next week.